Morning guys, Kurt from Whitetails Deer Hunting. It's early October, I'm heading up to Blake's this morning. Uh, he's got a place for me to set up to hopefully try and shoot a doe this morning. Uh, nice ladder stand right at the edge of a cornfield. As I'm driving up to his place this morning, deer are out early. Not only doe, but buck, and they seem to be everywhere. So it might be a morning, I'm not gonna see anything first thing, but sit and wait a little bit later in the morning when they get up to feed again, may have a little bit more luck. We'll see. Well, talked to Blake for a while this morning. Took a break about a halfway through a cornfield on about six tenths of a mile away from the house walk, so I don't want to get overheated. Super strong south winds this morning. New stand for me, so I'm excited to get up, get set up, and get light and see what I have in front of me. So I'm going to call an audible. The wind is just whipping where I'm sitting right here across the cornfield. And uh, it's heading really hard southeast and it's moving downhill and to the right where there's a field where deer either would be coming out of the field into the woods or out of the woods and into the field. I just don't feel like there's going to be any deer moving in this wind. So I'm going to pop down to about 80 yards below me where there's an inside corner where I can catch deer coming across through the woods and then along the edge of the woods down below uh, in the hay field that's down there. So. I'm back out this afternoon, guys. I was at Blake's this morning on his private property. It was so windy that neither one of us saw anything. Uh, I'm coming in this afternoon and uh, I've got an area I found at Community Scrape where I've got deer on camera all day, all night, almost every single day. Uh, the problem is, is it's real close to some bedding and I'm real worried that coming in with sticks and hang on, I'm going to be too loud and uh, either screw that up in the morning or screw it up trying to get out in the afternoon uh, or in the evening. So I'm going to go ahead and take a ladder stand. I'm going to put it in there this afternoon. It's also in a little bit of a hollow, so if the wind is low in there, I may stay and sit for the evening. I knew it was going to take a while to get set up in here, so I came in early, left the house at 2. I'm all set up and 68 degrees today, so I doubt I'm going to see anything until late. But I'm in here, i got a stand set up, so next time I come in, it's going to be much quieter and much quicker to get up in here without disrupting any of the woods around me. Mission accomplished. Let's hope a doe walks by so I can whack it. End of a pretty nice day of hunting. Ended up seeing a buck in the evening tearing apart a tree about 80 yards away, but the beach was so thick that all I could see was legs and the tree bouncing around. Heard him grunt a couple times, thought he might come in, but he didn't. No matter what, day of hunting's better than any day at work. Morning guys, I'm back out to the same piece of public land that I hunted last night. Uh, just moved about 150 yards closer to the clear cut. Uh, still hunting over a couple of fresh scrapes, but again, it's still mid-October right now. You know, deer are just starting to get amped up. Uh, hoping I'm going to see a doe this morning, but just doing some observation again. And uh, we'll see how the stand. There's a scrape right there that we found in March. That last week was opened up. Leaves have fallen in the last two days, so we'll see if any buck comes back in to freshen it up here this morning. 34 degrees, nice chilly day. Winds in my favor, moving right behind me. We'll see what happens.
this morning I did see those two doe. They came in behind me and um, they milled around for about 15 minutes. I was able to get turned around and get some film, but I never had a shot at them. I changed around a little bit the tree that I'm going to sit if I go back to that spot. So I actually am able to shoot two trails. I didn't realize that I was right on top of one trail. So that'll make a big difference next time I go in there. I'm going to relax for the rest of the day. I'm going to air my stuff out and looking forward to getting back out this week. With all the stands I have over a half mile out from parking, it's nice to have one or two that aren't very far. This one's only about 100 yards from my truck. I'm fortunate to have a job where I can get out early enough to get one or two hours out in a tree stand on a weeknight in October. The spot that I'm sitting in tonight has all sorts of bedding out to my right. There's a swamp that pinches them down along the woods right here in front of me. And then there are trails that work out to a hay field in which I know the deer feed in in the evenings. My hope is that I'll catch some deer coming from bedding past me on their way out to the field to go feed before dark. I had two doe come to me from the road up this little rise in front of me. Uh, they were too far away to shoot and they didn't end up coming down my direction. They just turned left and worked out towards the field to feed. it's after work I've got a place to sit tonight that I think it has a lot of potential I've got four scrapes that are all in a row within about 70 or 80 yards it's really on some real thick stuff I think right on the edge of bedding uh, the only issue is that there's a tree stand in there that I found last year it's still there it just doesn't look like anybody has sat in the tree stand um, doesn't even look like if you're sitting in the tree stand you can shoot at the trail that's going past I don't know. Maybe it's somebody that's in there only once a year. Maybe it's somebody that only sits there for gun. Maybe it's somebody that doesn't hunt anymore. So I'm going to go in tonight and sit and kind of get an idea of what's going on with deer moving up this trail and um, see whether or not I think anybody's sitting in that tree stand that's only probably about 50 yards away from where I'm going to put my sticks in my hang on stand. Okay, I'm going to get dressed and uh, get in there. So I'm in, I'm set up, I'm trying to be fairly quiet because I think I'm pretty close to bedding. My hope is that deer are going to come from below and work their way up on these scrapes. Uh, I have a concern because my wind is blowing up and to the right a little bit so if any deer comes down the trail I think I get busted. But being on public land, first time being in here, if I got burnt once and I saw some deer I wouldn't be back in here again for another two to three weeks so I think I'd be all right. Wish me luck. Here's the only doe that would come in, came in, 
the direction my wind was blowing. She walked around for about 15 minutes, didn't get closer than 25 yards. Never made out what I was, but knew something was up and walked away. There's that rub. I was thinking this tree right here, getting up in that, and that gives me, because that continues to go that way, you can see where the trail is. So I mean, even though the rub's on this side, it's kind of centered. The track in that scrape is going that way. hunting hard for a public land doe. I've had a couple opportunities here and there, but I'm up here at Blake's house tonight, seeing if I can get a, a doe off of his property. Put a little bit of meat in the freezer. It's a windy night, uh, but I think uh, I've got an opportunity to have some doe come out last hour or so. Go down, baby. 
first deer down of the season. I've been working so hard for this man all year last year, self-filming. Didn't even shoot a deer during archery, not a buck or a doe at all. I've been out working my tail off for the past two weeks now, and you know, here it is, these four deer come up tonight, come right up to me, and uh, as I pull back, the doe stops behind some branches, and I had to hold for like, <laughs> For like a minute and a half and um finally she stepped out and as she stepped out i shot i'm excited meeting the freezer um first self film deer down <laughs> i'm pumped baby that's freaking awesome